All right, welcome back everybody. So I thought I would do a little walkthrough of my yearly maintenance routine for the electric motors on the boat. Uh, might seem like a lot of work to people, but it really isn't. If you're really motivated, you could probably do it in one to three days, no problem. I use the Christmas break just because it uh, seems like a good time of year to do it. Um, anyway, let me just uh, walk you through it. All right, so first things first, you're going to want to take the motors out. I've shown in my channel before uh, how I can do that um, within five, 10 minutes. Of course, uh, that all depends on your setup in your boat. For me, I have a lot of open space, so everything's very accessible. Uh, if it was a tighter space, like a sailboat, it might take you a little bit longer. But yeah, five to 10 minutes to pop those out. Um, if you're gonna do the uh, mounts and stuff like that, like I've done this year, uh, tack on another 30, maybe uh, 40 minutes. So you're looking at about 45 minutes tops just to get everything out and into a wheelbarrow and into the back of your car. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is take off the pulleys and stuff like that and you probably want to soak them. Just get uh, a bucket of pine salt. I did a short video on that recently where I just tossed them all into a bucket of pine salt and I was really impressed at how well they came out. Uh, you can see they're super clean. All the surface rust is gone. A little scrub with an uh, emery pad and... Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, what else? Put the uh, grubs, grub screws in a little bit of uh, WD-40 there. And all this does, just get a little surface rust off. It is a salt, salty air environment, so you're going to have to just pay attention to that um, and expect it, to be honest. Now, um, the next thing you're going to want to do, very important, is uh, for if you have brush DCs, you're going to take the uh, brush holder out and inspect them. You want to make sure that uh, the brushes are in good condition. They're generally spring-loaded. You want to make sure that uh, there's no catching and stuff like that and that you have enough uh, brush um, wear left so that you can run the boat for another year. And I've already done that. I'll show a video about how I do that. I did a video last year, but I'll put it in the description or maybe somewhere on the uh, player itself. Um, other stuff, again, surface rust. You know, you want to pay attention to uh, the casting here. Make sure there's no surface rust buildup. If there is, take a little... Scotch Bright emery pad and uh, scrub it out and um, get some Rust Oleum and uh, Trim Clad, whatever. Touch it up. Um, for example, I've got to pop these off here. Uh, I can see a little bit of surface rust right there, so I'll be doing that probably tonight. Uh, you want to make sure your bearings are good. Uh, if you saw the last video, I thought that this motor might have had a bad bearing. Turns out it was not. Um, but yeah, you want to look for things like catching, growling, stuff like that. Too much free play. And that's kind of it for the motors, you know. Just keep them clean. Uh, keep them rust-free as much as you can. And um, that's kind of it. So for the mounts, what you want to do is make sure that, uh, first and foremost, that there's no stress fractures anywhere. Um, on these, these mounts here, they're still holding up. <laughs> so no problems but uh, something you want to look out for I've also decided to uh, take the paint off so I did a little uh, wire wheel thing with the um, drill and just scrubbed the paint off I soaked everything in pine saw as well um, just the, the couplings and yeah they came out really nice and uh, a little bit of a scrub a little bit of WD-40 and what I'll do is repaint them and uh, also put some rust inhibitor on the inside here and I'll be doing it to the other side of the couplers when I get on the boat, when it's a little bit warmer. <laughs> um, you also want to make sure your bearings are good, you know, there's no free play, stuff like that. And that's kind of it for um, the mounts. You want to check your screws. Sometimes it's a good, or your screws, your bolts. Um, sometimes it's a good idea to, just to replace these things if they look like they're stripping in any way, shape, or form. You never know. Um, yeah, you just want to stay on top of it. Uh, the belts, um, in this case, you know, I've got to like a tooth belt here. So you want to make sure that it's uh, not dried out, that it's nice and su supple and that uh, there's no teeth missing, there's no cracking, things like that. So, you know, just give it a quick inspection and uh, see how it feels and you should be good to go. <clears throat> Obviously, if you need to replace it all, you can order it online and uh, you'll have to go through various channels to pick up whatever it is you need. Um, good idea to have lots of WD-40, a little bit of a uh, rust inhibitor, and also uh, something to remind you about uh, what's happening today. 
And um, that's kind of it. Uh, so you actually might think that's a lot of work, but to be honest, you could run through that in one to three days, no problem. Um, for me, I casually do it over the Christmas holidays. It's really not that big of a deal. And if you think that is a lot of work, I would strongly suggest uh, not to get a boat because a boat is nothing but work and tinkering. You either have to have the patience and the time to do this type of stuff, or you have to have the money to pay someone else uh, to do that kind of stuff. And trust me, the work is not cheap. So um, that's my advice. So if, you, uh, if you're into it and you like to tinker and you like to muck around and do that kind of thing, then this is uh, maybe a good project. But um, if you're not into that and you think this is a lot of work and you don't want to get your knuckles uh, bruised a little bit, then um, definitely don't get a boat. <laughs> All right.